Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I have a kind of chilling story for you today. It's not a ghost story, but it's pretty scary just the same. I saw a clip a while back on the internet of somebody asking Google what the population of Mars was. And I thought, well, that's kind of dumb. Obviously it's nothing, right? No one? Should be nobody there. I mean, other than that one guy in the movie, but, you know, that's just a movie. So I thought, hey, what the heck? Let's Google the population of Mars. So I Googled it, and uh, this is what came up. Why is there a population listed for Mars at all? And that's straight from Google. I'm like, how is that possible that you're getting an answer? You're giving an answer. So I thought, okay, kind of interesting, kind of funny. Maybe it's nothing special. So I thought, you know, I wonder what Siri has to say about it. So I asked Siri, you know, what the population of Mars was. And this was her reply. She also gave a number for the population of Mars. I, I still am absolutely baffled why two of the bigger search systems that we depend on are giving us an answer. So I decided to do this video. And uh, two days after I did the search for you know, the population of Mars using Siri, I start to do this video. And today I ask her the same thing. And we'll show you the answer. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. what's the population of Mars? Okay, I found this on the web for what's the population of Mars. Check it out. I find that kind of interesting that just two days after people start searching for the population of Mars, Apple removes it from Siri's memory banks. What's going on? What's really happening on Mars? Are there actually inhabitants there? Have we met people? Have we met Martians? I really want to know. And I think you want to know too. So I'm going to do more investigating on this. Keep watching the videos. Please like, subscribe, and share to this channel. I think we might find some truth in this.